We've completed our overview of the major endocrine glands. So now we will examine a few other endocrine functioning structures, such as the pineal gland. The gland is located in the diencephalon of the brain, just posterior to the thalamus. The pineal gland produces a hormone called melatonin, which functions to regulate our sleep and wake cycles. This chart depicts melatonin concentrations on the vertical axis and time of day on the horizontal axis. We see that melatonin release is not consistent throughout the day, but instead it rises and falls depending on the time. Starting on the left side of the graph, we see that melatonin levels tend to be very low in the middle of the day. As the evening approaches, the gland begins secreting more melatonin, and peak melatonin secretion occurs in the middle of the night, around 3 a.m. It will then drop off quickly as dawn approaches. So as we saw in the diagram on the previous slide, high levels of melatonin make us drowsy and are our major stimulus to sleep. The way that the pineal gland is able to coordinate its release of melatonin to correspond with daytime or nighttime is due to the fact that the gland receives indirect input from the eyes. The release of melatonin increases when the sun starts to set and ambient light levels begin to drop. Bright artificial lights, as well as blue light from electronic devices, can reset the clock that coordinates the release of melatonin and can therefore negatively affect our ability to fall asleep at night.